हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द करंट अफेयर्स एनालिसिस फॉर 25 फरवरी 2020 यूएस प्रेसिडेंट डोनाल्ड ट्रंप येस्टरडे अराइव्ड इन इंडिया एंड ही वाज वेलकम्ड एट द अहमदाबाद एयरपोर्ट सो वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट इवेंट्स फॉर अ हेड ऑफ द स्टेट वाज हेल्ड इन इंडिया एट द मटेरा स्टेडियम इन अहमदाबाद and this is pegged to be one of the largest cricket stadiums in the world with a capacity of around 1.10 lakh audience so what are the items that are on the agenda some of the common themes that have been expressed by the us president were against islamic terrorism so this is one area of partnership he also took a swipe at china for power through coercion so he also took a swipe at china now this shows us's thrust on the strategy of indo pacific and also why us is developing the blue dot network so we talked about the blue dot network in yesterday's video blue dot network is nothing but a certification scheme for infrastructure projects in the indo pacific region and it is not limited to indo pacific region it may extend to the entire world where massive infrastructure projects will be certified by a us based agency for sustainability and growth so this is an attempt to counter china's belt and road initiative and australia and japan have already joined the blue dot network india is expected to be the next one in line and this is seen as a bulwark against the rising chinese influence in this part of the world mr trump also said that modi is a true friend but tough negotiator now this is in context of the trade deal which is expected to be signed today but the details of the deal are yet to be revealed so these are some points another key takeaway that is expected from this visit of the us president is that defense deal worth 3 billion dollars of military helicopters so the state of the art military helicopters and other defense equipment to india the deal worth rupees 3 billion dollars has been signed and this might be the key takeaway because it is a win win for both the sides while india will be able to diversify its defense acquisition away from dependence on legacy russian equipment the us president can leverage this to create jobs in america so while we can diversify our defense acquisition the us can create jobs in america so this deal could turn out to be the main take away of the visit what are the things that are on table for today so there have been certain decisions of the indian government in the past few months that have not gone down well with the us president and he has described india as the tariff king so why has it been done because india imposed retaliatory tariffs on walnuts in the wake of us withdrawal of generalized system of preferences so us maintains a list of countries called developed developing and underdeveloping countries and us has designated india as a developed country thereby depriving it of the benefits that it used to enjoy in world trade so when india will be out of the gsp it will suffer around 6 billion dollars worth of tariffs every year so this has not gone down well with india and in retaliation to that india imposed retaliatory tariffs on walnuts and since india is a huge market for california walnuts the fate of about 35 consignments was jeopardized now this did not go down well with us and they have always criticized india's unpredictable tax regime so a trade deal that is expected to be signed india was expecting a limited trade deal whereas us has more ambitious trade deal in mind so let us see what will happen in today's uh, meeting between mr trump and mr modi the de details of the deal will be out by tomorrow so we'll discuss it in tomorrow's video the underlying reason for all this uneasiness between india and us stems from the fact that usa is a loser as far as india us bilateral trade is concerned so the trade deficit is in favor of india and is biased towards biased against united states of america in the year 2018 alone 25.2 billion dollars worth of trade deficit was suffered by us in context of india that means we in, we export more to us than we import from us so therefore we are we have a trade surplus with us and similarly usa has a trade deficit with 
India and that doesn't go down well with US's president. So this data is by the Office of United States Trade Representative, the USTR, as of August 15, 2019. And according to this, the major import exports of US to India include US goods, US services, and precious metal and stone, including diamonds, mineral fuels, aircraft, machinery, and organic chemicals. So these are the major exports of US to India. And what are the major imports from India? To US, they are basically precious metal and stone, again diamonds, pharmaceuticals, machinery, mineral fuels and vehicles. These are the major exports of India to US. The Uttar Pradesh Sunni Waqf Board has accepted Ayodhya land to build mosque, hospital and library. So last year, the Supreme Court five judge bench decided the Ram Janmabhoomi Ayodhya Masjid, uh, Babri Masjid, disputed land and it was given to the Hindu side for constructing a Ram temple. At the same time, the Supreme Court has, had also allocated 5 acres of land, had also asked the government of UP to allocate 5 acres of land at a prominent place in or around Ayodhya to build a mosque there. And in pursuance to that, now the UP Sunni Waqf Board has accepted the proposal of those five acre sites and they have decided to make a trust and to build a mosque, a hospital and a library and an Islamic studies research center. So there was strong opposition from within the Muslim community against this decision to accept the five acre land from the state government. However, the state, the trust has, uh, the board has gone ahead to accept this proposal. So Muslim organizations such as All India Muslim Personal Law Board and Muslim litigants in the case have made public their difference with the land allocation proposal. That means there is no unanimity as far as acceptance of this land is concerned and some people within the Muslim community are opposing it. They do not want to take this land as a freebie. So they have opposed it. There have also been a challenge to collect funds because since many people are opposed to it, there will not be many donations for building such a mosque. In coronavirus news, the latest uh, update is that new infections have seen a slight fall in China. This is not a very optimistic news, but for the first time it has shown a reverse trend that for the first time new infections in China have seen a fall, but at the same time it is spreading fast across the world so there are various countries that have seen various new cases in the past few days like south korea has seen 70 more coronavirus cases in a single day in iran 50 people have died till now in italy in the gulf and in iraq as well new coronavirus cases as well as deaths have been reported in the last two to three days that means the territorial spread of the virus is now more and the virus spread within China has started taking a declining route and the reason for that is the Chinese government's clampdown on this virus. Let us see a question on the basis of Indo-US trade relations because whenever it comes to trade relations, the world trade body known as the World Trade Organization always comes into picture. This organization has always been in news for some wrong reasons. For example, the US is uh, not giving very import much importance to WTO and it has stopped nominating its judges to the WTO dispute redressal court. So this has been in news, its funding has been cut and WTO is trying is trying to be, I mean the developed countries are trying to bypass WTO. So let us see in this context this MCQ on WTO. The first statement says, first of all it says choose the correct statement. Then WTO was established under the Washington Accord in 1995. So there are two material uh, points here. One is the agreement under which it was signed. Second is the year. So here we have to be very thorough when we revise such topics. So the year is correct. In 1995 WTO was established. But it was not under the Washington Accord. It was under the Marrakesh Agreement which was signed in the city of Marrakesh in Morocco. So Marrakesh agreement was the agreement under which WTO was established. Now since one information is incorrect, 
therefore the entire statement becomes incorrect second is it replaced the it replaced the general agreement on tariffs and trade it again has two material points one is the name of the agreement and second is that wto has replaced that particular arrangement here this point is correct and this point is also correct so the entire point becomes correct so the answer is two only thank you everyone this has been the news analysis for 25th of february 2020